Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button. And make sure to hit that like button too because it helps the channel out a lot. Um, I hope you liked the last video. It was an hour long special where we did a lot around the city. We finished the amusement park. We upgraded the zoo. Did something else. Oh, we did fishing. And then uh, we uh, started this university out here. So there's a few things I want to do and it's mainly associated with the university in this episode. So... We're out this way. It's a pretty cool spot for the university, um, but I want to make it a bit of a transition. I want to make a transition area over here because I don't want it just to be university airport because, uh, you know, it's not the best location for uh, like together. We're looking at this area. It's not the best. If you cancel at the airport, fantastic location for university. You cancel at the university, fantastic location for an airport. So it was kind of... Uh, unique situation we, we, we did this with but um, what I want to do first is I want to look at the concerts DLC um, why may you ask uh, because I thought there was something constructing university yeah we did why isn't that unlocked what the heck Oh, it's probably, oh darn. It's probably one of these, isn't it? Okay, well, let's see if this works. So I'm just going to plot this down right here. Pause the game. Probably wasted a bunch of money doing this, but that's fine. Uh, where was the concert DLC? Oh, look at that, we could have done this the whole time. <laughs> uh, the media broadcast building is a significant landmark and it also attracts people to see uh, it's impressive broadcast tower. Also, it increases the effectiveness of advertisement, advertisement campaigns by 20%. Alright, so it's going to cost $1,000 a week, but you know, it is a really cool building. So, um, I think this is the type of building it's going to have to go. Holy cow, look at that radius. Okay, so in order to meet the most people, I think we're going to need to put it out over here or something. Uh, it did say it had tourists, didn't it? Yeah, entertainment. Okay, so maybe it needs to be in a pretty good spot then. I wonder how it fits there. Ah, look at that. It fits perfectly. And you know what? It's right beside the, right beside the subway too. So maybe this is the spot for it then. Alright, we'll put it there. We'll start up the game. And yeah, that's a pretty cool building. Um, and then right behind here, instead of uh, having housing right there, we will just add some low density commercial. There we go. It's a, that is an impressive building. Okay, cool. I like it. Uh, so that was the first thing I wanted to, wanted to do. And now that we have that, we can delete that. <laughs> okay. Uh, a little bit of a hack. <laughs> uh, because uh, by building that, you're going to take students away from... Uh, your colleges and universities. Uh, Alright, so we just meet the camp campus attractiveness. Uh, while I was fixing traffic and stuff, like setting up uh, yield signs and whatnot, uh, the academic year passed, so we got one of our dissert dissertations. So we just need to bump up the students. And, um, you know, that's a little difficult because uh, if we look at our university availability, like, people should be wanting to go here. We have a great uh, connection with uh, the subway. So what I want to do is I want to run a, a bus line. Um, through to the campus. So let's pop up this. And yeah, we don't have many bus lines over here. So um, let's run a bus line from here. Start a new line. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to make this bus line come along here. So why don't we add a few stops in right to there. Then it's going to come up this street. It's going to stop there. It's going to stop there. 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 And then... Ah, okay. It's going to stop here instead. And then at... You know what? I, I think it's going to have to stop at the park. And then it's going to come around here. And we're going to get a stop right there yeah 
and then it's going to come back. It's going to make a easy right turn. It's going to make a stop right here. And then it's going to come along here, make a stop right there, and then it's going to loop back the way it came. Uh, stop there, and then we're just going to add in one more stop, and where, why is it looping around there? All right, let's back it up a bit. You just right click uh, by, to do that. Um, and it looks like I want it to come up all the way over there. Okay, so why don't we bring it along this way. Bit of a convoluted way, but uh, it works. Holy cow, flooding. Thought the key was supposed to stop that. <laughs> All the same building, that's funny. Uh, all right, so that should uh, help get some people to this area. And then I think we're going to run... Uh, so the, the subway line connects pretty much everything. So that was just kind of more of like a, a simple bus line. But I think we're going to need another bus line at some point. Um, so let's um, do the next thing, which I wanted to do, which is the new Lancaster University. I just named this district. It's just over here, including this area right here. And I'm going to make, um, let's look at the policies really quickly. So I, uh, the entire city has this because it's in Canada. Uh, tax relief for low density because it's student housing, a high rise ban, and this, which is a bit of a glitch, I think, but that should be the university um, uh, city theme. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop out of that mode. There we go. We're going to add in a few roads. We're using this. So we're just going to curve it like that. All right. We're going to flip it. Perfect. And then, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then uh, we're going to add in um, another one, uh, right here. I'm curious to know if, or to think if we should connect it there or if we should just connect it here. And I think we're just going to connect it here. All right. And then this might as well just continue. So let's get a free formed road. Oops. Didn't really do that. Okay, let's take that out. Come on, delete. And we'll try it again. Just connect it in like that. Freeform road. Actually, sorry, this is a curve. Oh, come on. <laughs> My clicking is off today, apparently. Click, all right. Maybe I need a new mouse. It's not registering all my clicks. Um, all right, so now we're going to flip this one. Perfect. And then we're going to get um, a road in just a normal road. How about, yeah, just a normal, normal road. And we will use the free form from here. And we're just going to kind of just do this. And then I think I think I want another connection in over here, actually. So I think we're, what we're going to do is we're going to do something pretty simple. Just with straight roads. Connect in and then connect that way. And what we're going to do is we're just going to... Ah, we can't. Okay, so that's fine. We'll just do that. Um, and then we'll use go back to the normal basic roads. And the reason why I'm using these three lane roads is because I'm worried about traffic on this road and uh, that gives dedicated turning lanes. Uh, oh, freeform. And oh, I don't usually like doing four way interchanges or four way stops, but okay, we'll do that. And then 
Uh, let's curve in pretty close to here. All right, and then we'll do that with another road connecting up like so. And by doing this, we're adding lots of houses. Ah, oh, look at that, the zoo uh, leveled up. Okay, we'll do that once we finish up uh, this district here. All right, so now that we have that in place, um, the only way to get across is by this crosswalk, right? So I think what we're going to do is instead, uh, we're gonna to try to add a pedestrian bridge. Um, and I don't think this needs to be, both of those don't need to be that type of road. Okay, so we're, we're going to adjust this. There we go. Yep, connected, connected, okay. And, oh, we just need to get dedicated turning lanes. Oh, we did, okay. Uh, and then right here too, yep, all right. So, we're just gonna fill this in. Um, oh, sorry, I, geez, brain's going a little too fast today. Uh, we're gonna take the university path, which is over here, and we are going to build a bridge connection from right here, elevated. I wonder if, what the bridge looks like. Nothing. Okay, so uh, let's do a curve and we will raise it up. Sure. So that's what the bridge looks like. And then elevated, it's the same. Okay, so why don't we do something like, you know what? I think it can just be a straight road because we can connect it right up to here. All right, why did it do that? Um, weird. So let's find the next node, which is right there, and we will raise it up. All right, there is nothing underneath it, so let's just delete what we did. And we will start again. Okay, so we're at elevated road. Right here, we wanna to connect to there. There is nothing there. Okay, so maybe we need to do this by hand. All right, let's turn snapping off. All right, I knew that was gonna happen again but uh, I really want it to be perfect like that. So let's raise it up. We'll do control H to that height. There we go. That should be tall enough, not for this. So we will need to, oh, uh, okay, thank you. We will need to uh, lower this one, which is fine. It's easily adjustable. So what's gonna happen is these people, okay, we're gonna select both of these nodes and we're just going to lower that a bit. They're just going to need to do a little bit of dipsy doodle. Yeah, that works. And then we'll lower this one and this one just a touch. All right, so this is all wonky. So I'm gonna to to use the node controller and make uh, these nodes sloped. And the reason we do this is because sometimes when you're messing around with move it, it messes up with the slope of the nodes. Um, all right, so now that we have these pillars here, which I'm glad we do this time, we're gonna use move it here. We're gonna click this pillar and then control copy just like in Word. Oh, there we go. And Perfect, and we're gonna add another one right here. Perfect, and let's add another one right here, just for fun. There we go, one more, click. Alrighty, and then it looks like we're probably gonna need another one here. Yep, all right, cool. And then we'll take uh, this one out just by, 
Oh, just by using move it, clicking it, moving it out of the way, and then delete. All right, so that's a pretty cool pathway, um, pretty cool bridge. There's a street lamp in the middle of it, but <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, I might be able to, yeah, perfect. Okay, if I just grab that node and it moved. Um, so now there's uh, an easy way for people to get across from this neighborhood and it didn't snap in together properly like over on this side. So I will use move it here. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I thought I clicked move it. Uh, that's okay though. Uh, so we'll use pathways. We're here. Um, pop this up. Straight road. And I don't know what happened to the other tool I have. All right, strange. I don't know what's wrong right now. Oh, there we go. Um, connect up like that, okay. And then now we'll use move it. And we'll just, come on, move it, there we go. My mouse doesn't like me clicking today. And we'll do the same thing we did last time. Control copy, place it there. And we'll place another one there. But we will, oops. But we will lower it. Oh, come on. Perfect. And now we can take I think people should be able to use that pathway. So we'll see if it actually works out like that. And of course there's a tree in the way. So let's, oh, there's two trees in the way. Let's do that. Okay, so let's uh, zone in over here. So this is going to be university housing. Right. I hope people start moving in over here quickly. And actually, I'm going to be a bit picky and I'm just going to um, use this tool from now on. I don't want anyone living right there. And I probably don't want people living here either. You know what, there is fine. All right, so now we need some, um, let's, let's add a, a few of these in uh, because I actually made this uh, leisure uh, as well. So there should, these will turn into like bars and stuff. Uh, let's, we can uh, add housing there. Okay, so now we're gonna need to add in a few parks or, and stuff to make it a bit more attractive. So let's get an outdoor basketball court right there. And maybe an urban, nah, it's, it's pretty big, but it'd be pretty cool to have. Um, we can add in, dog parks are really cheap to add in. That's pretty big. Uh, you know what we're going to need? A skate park. Yeah. This can go underneath the pedestrian bridge too. Alright, we'll lower it down. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, and we'll add that right there. And just like that. And then we'll move this one as well. Alright, so that should... Um, help with the attractiveness of this area a bit. Um, maybe we can add in one more. Uh, maybe we can just build like a normal small park. And it can go right here. Okay, 
And then we will finish it off by adding in just a pathway because these, the cool thing about these parks is that they have pathway connections. Oh, come on, ground level, there we go. So you can just do that and then you can, ah, that's fine, okay. Um, so now people can easily use this park as a pathway to get around. And then we will also add leisure here. Okay, so hopefully people start moving in soon. A little weird that they haven't started yet. But we will come back to it if there's an issue. I mean, we have demand. There's parks. Is it the services that people aren't moving in? Okay, so there's fire coverage. I mean, there's, there's no hospital. Okay, so maybe we need a campus. Um, so that, well, we can do this anyways, but let's get a campus uh, medical facility and we'll place it. Um, okay, for now, let's just place it right here. But I don't think that was the issue. So maybe it's the theme is broken. Um, so let's just do that and we'll see what's up. Or maybe that wasn't the right thing to do. A lot of buildings which are not in any theme. So that's vanilla. Oh, there we go. As long as these aren't European style houses, we should be fine, really. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, and then I wanted to add one like small condo in somewhere, but maybe that's over here we build the condos. So let's check the district and the district comes out this way. So that's good. There is starting to be a bit of traffic here. Um, but we've completely lost all our residential demand. So why don't we just add in one condo right here and we'll see what comes of it. Um, all right, so the zoo leveled up. So let's go to the zoo. I'll show you where the zoo is. If this is your first time here. So this is the city. Here's the university area that we're building out right now. Um, we haven't built the waterfront yet because it's gonna be a pretty big project and uh, we're gonna do it slowly over time. Uh, I just got an asset for this area. So maybe next video we'll build out that way. Uh, we're going to build a harbor, like a cruise ship harbor through here. We're going to get a cool airport right here, kind of like Billy Bishop in Toronto. And I'm not sure where the seaport's going to go. I'm thinking I extend this area a bit. We make this a seaport. It's got really, like, really easy uh, highway access. And maybe we can even... Um, it's just a pretty long way for people to get, a, to get over here. So maybe we can add in like a road connection right here or something. I don't know. But uh, there's not many other places we could put the seaport because this over here is going to be a pretty cool park. Um, so maybe we forgo the uh, I, uh, the airport over here. I don't know. But maybe we put the port right here, right behind the university. Uh, because, or maybe I get a mod that I can add the uh, cruise ship so they can go into this little area here. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But... Um, it's a bit difficult, this, this city, to get a proper port in. So, um, let's go over to the zoo, which is over this way. And we need to add in a few things. So, in order to get to level 5, we need to add in the monkey palace and the giraffe enclosure. So, the giraffe enclosure is pretty cool. Um, it has its own viewing platform. So, I think... What we do is we do something like this. Uh, maybe we pull it out a bit more. Cool. And then um Oh no. Prop and tree anarchy is on. Since when? Oh, geez. That's not good. 
built a lot over the last little while. So hopefully um, I remembered to turn that off. I don't know how that turned on. Strange. Okay, so we'll connect that up like that. Then like that. Okay, so this is what I was trying to figure out before. Is we need to just adjust it so it makes it look just a bit more of a straight line. Okay. So that's a pretty cool little pathway. And why don't we add in a pathway around this as well. So let's get a pathway right here. And then we'll connect it up like that. Okay, cool. And then we'll do the same thing there. And then we will just use move it to drag it out. Perfect. Cool. That's a really neat uh, enclosure right there. Um, and then we also got the monkey palace. All right, so this is a really cool building. And I think it should go right there. All right, so we're gonna move the zoo cafe one and it's gonna go right there for now. And then we're gonna move this and it's gonna go right here for now. Because once we hit level five, we're actually going to look at beautifying the park, just like what we did with um, the theme park. Awesome. Uh, wow, this is quite the uh, the spot. All right, so we need to do we do need to boost the entertainment value. Okay, so uh, this is kind of what I was waiting for. So let's do this. So we're gonna move this right here, and this is gonna be kind of like spot number one for people to to come into the park. Um, actually, no, we're going to quickly change this because we are running out of time for today's video. Um, we're going to just grab pathway, put it behind. All right. And then um, uh, let's continue this pathway actually like this. Um, and then we're going to use this spot for something else. So this is the souvenir shop. The souvenir shop should be fairly close to the entrance. So, you know, I think we're going to leave that one, but the zoo cafe, I think we can put right there and we'll put a set of washrooms right beside it. Okay. Cause right here, we're going to use something from another park or another, uh, park life DLC. And that is the info booth because I think this should go right by the entrance anyways. And it's an info booth. So kind of works and then we'll put the souvenir shop right beside it. Awesome. Okay. So that probably didn't raise it at all. Really? No, it didn't. So we need to add in a few more things. So I don't know if there's anything over in this. I mean, we could get like one of these in. Oh, nice. I think the university just leveled up or almost leveled up. Let's just take a quick peek. Yes, we just need more students and that'll come with time. So you know what, that, that'll kind of do it, do it on its own as we add in residential over this way too. Alrighty. Um, so we're over here. We need to add in a few more things. So I think we're going to add in a few more of these lookout towers from the nature reserve because they're really cool. And I think it kind of works with the giraffe area too. Just like that. All right. And already talked about stuff over here. We didn't add any over on this side or the moose or the bison bison. Um, I think we could get one right there. Not sure what elsewhere though. Um, bouldering site. Could that fit? 
rock climbing. It could be funny to have by the monkeys, monkey area. Do that and then we go to the, um, we got a climbing frame right here. So all the kids can pretend they're the monkeys climbing on everything. Uh, and then let's get the zoo pathway and we'll just oh, come on straight road let's do that and we're just gonna use move it here and we're just gonna pull this out just a bit there we go and then we're gonna use move it for this and we're just going to adjust it as well Okay, so now we need to actually add stuff from the zoo because I don't think adding stuff from the other parks really adds much. No, I don't. They don't really. So uh, let's add more stuff from the zoo. So we should probably get like some restrooms and stuff out this way. So let's get a restroom right there, and then a cafe over here, or maybe we do it something another way because. Uh, that doesn't really work there. Uh, let's go. How does this, does the souvenir shop fit right here? It does. Okay, so let's do that. And then we'll just use move it to pull it in a bit. Oh, come on, move it. There we go. It's pretty cool. And then we can... Yeah, you know what? I'm not really sure how this is going to work. Uh, this is the restrooms. Let's go with the cafe. We'll do that. Okay. Please move it. We'll pull it in like that. And then now I wonder if this will look nice if we fit it in. Something like that. Please move it. Yeah, all right, that works. And then uh, we can just add like a tree. Kind of fills in the space a bit. And then we can add in a few trees here and there over this way. All right. So I think we're going to need to add some more stuff in. Oop, why do I keep clicking that one? <laughs> it's so, so weird. Uh, let's get another restroom in over this way. Uh, I really don't like how the this dark gravel underneath these kind of work. But let's get another tree in. Fills in the space. This will just be trees over here. Um, and then we're kind of getting close to this side again. All right, but hmm. What are we at? Almost. Okay, so let's just add in like another restroom or something and we should be fine. Uh, restroom. So restroom kind of covers that area over here. We have a restroom over here. So let's get another one over this way. It's a pretty main area right here. So why don't uh, I don't know if I want it just like that, but why don't we put it right here? All right, use move it and we'll just adjust it like that. Okay, and then just to be safe, because I don't want to double back, let's get a souvenir shop over this way. Oh, that's a cafe. Souvenir shop. Actually, I don't know if a souvenir shop kind of fits right there. Let's get it right here. All right, so that should probably push us over. Really, it didn't. <laughs> okay, well, let's uh, let's continue it then. Uh, cafe. There we go. Okay, so we we've hit. Oh, I guess it just didn't register. Now we just need to wait, and that's fine. So it's just a waiting game. 
Um, we have a bus that comes out this way, so that sh that's no issue uh, onto itself. Um, but I really like how this is coming along. Uh, we can probably start closing off this with the fence. And it can come out this way because the next things we're going to get for the zoo are the rhino enclosure, which I wish I could know the size, but let's just say it's that, that size. We could probably fit it in right there or right there in the middle. And then the lions, which are probably, let's just say the size of this. No, it's a lion. I don't know, but uh, let's get it uh, over this way. So um, we got space. I think we can just close this area off. So let's do that. I'm just going to use move it first. We're just going to move this back to there. And I'm starting to think maybe we should get like a, a road in back here. No, nah, it's okay. Um, we will now select that, bring it out to there. Okay, did it too far. Let's do that. Okay, and then now it should be fine to drag out to. to all right, let's turn everything off. There we go. And then we'll take it out to right there. Okay to there let's say drag it across just like this and then I mean I think we might be able to just close it off like this and then we'll see where we're going with that from the other side when we get there but um, let's just add in a few trees back here because it looks like it's empty space. And we will see what needs to be filled in um, when the time comes. Let's add in a few other ones right there and a tree right there. That's probably good. This is going to be probably empty space. So we'll fill it in with some trees. And yeah, all right. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, we're gonna have issues with fish over there for a while. Um, all right, so let's see how this filled in. Filled in pretty good. Ooh, I wonder why that's a different theme. Ah, that's okay. And we didn't get a high rise. But that's fine, I guess. I'm curious as to why, though. But um, let's see if that actually boosted our student capacity. It did not. So let's try and add in a few more. I feel like that's a good spot for high rises. Like, well, not high rise, like high density student housing. Um, and we'll see if that actually grows in or not, but maybe it's because there's no park or something. So maybe we can add like a, a plaza or something right here. Hmm. Let's just raise this up a touch. No, okay, I don't like that. And we're gonna go back to move it and we're gonna undo the last two things we did. Okay. Um, that's too big. Maybe we get 
Something small. Holy cow, I'm over time. Okay, never mind then. We'll deal with it at another time. So, uh, we built this community today, and uh, it's probably going to be, it's supposed to be like student housing, so we'll see if it actually um, turns out that way. And if not, then, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, we needed housing out this way anyways. So, I hope you like the video, everyone. Um, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you aren't already subscribed, and follow me on social media. The, the links are down below in the description. Peace out, everyone. Hope you have a great weekend.